Hello, Hazel Mills here. This is your quick start guide on how to set up your Udio Super Gemini to send and receive MIDI via your door. Firstly, connect the Gemini to your computer either using DIN, MIDI, going into a MIDI interface or USB into your computer or a USB hub. The unit does not support both simultaneously. You may need to set your DAW to recognise the Super Gemini in its MIDI preferences. You'll be looking for a device named Super Gemini if you're connected via USB, or the name of the port that you've connected to using DIN. This is certainly the case for Ableton Live, where under MIDI preferences, you'll need to enable track for the MIDI input, and output if you wish to send MIDI to the Super Gemini. Be sure to disable local control if you're sending MIDI from the computer to the Super Gemini by hitting shift and local, ensuring that the light is off. This will mean that you can't play the synth from the keyboard, but only send to it. To send MIDI to the Super Gemini, create two MIDI tracks in your DAW, one for the upper layer and one for the lower layer. Set the outputs to MIDI channels 1 and 2 respectively. So I've got a couple of MIDI clips, one on each track for upper and lower. And let's see what happens when I hit go. So to record this as audio into your door, you'll need to create two stereo tracks if you're using the individual layer outputs, or just one stereo track if you're using the mix output. Once your tracks are created, ensure that the audio input is set to whichever inputs in your interface you have the Super Gemini connected to. So now we should be able to if I hit go, see the audio going in. And now it's ready to record. So the last thing I'm gonna cover in this video is how to ensure that the tempo of your arpeggiator and sequencer are the same as that of your door, so you can sync them. Simply make sure that you are receiving clock within the unit, so hit shift, the sync external clock button and if the second button along is solid that means it is set to receive clock if it's flashing it's not so press that so that it is solid now within your door you will likely need to tell it to send midi clock to the super gemini if you're using ableton live simply go to midi preferences and ensure that the sync column is ticked under super gemini out so I'm just going to demonstrate this just with the lower layer for a moment. I'll get a slightly different sound. And I'm going to send a chord to it, a sustained chord, from the door, but with the arpeggiator switched on. For more information, go to udo-audio.com. Thank you for watching.